What ruined your Christmas? My mom slipped on a patch of ice on her way into my house for breakfast and gifts this morning. She insisted she was fine. But after a few hours she could barely walk. Her foot is broken and may require surgery. So it looks like we'll be spending my birthday tomorrow in their hotel room. My Christmas wasn't ruined. But I feel awful that hers and my dad's basically was. Ouch. I don't really have anything in the vein of this post. But I noticed we share a birthday. Which happens to be tied for the least common birthday in the world. Happy birthday internet stranger. My dad's anger issues and mom forcing us to pretend nothing is happening. Oh my god I feel this so much. My parents do this all the time. My dad would lash out and my mom would expect us to be soft spoken like her. The next day they'll both act like nothing happened and do nice things like cook us food, buy groceries, etc. I guess in an attempt to sweep everything under the rug. Like he didn't say hurtful things. Next thing you know my mom would make me feel guilty about not talking to my dad for a whole month. Ah, because nothing was resolved in the first place. My mother passed unexpectedly a few hours ago. Was in rehab for a minor stroke and broken leg. We suspect it was another stroke. I'm sorry to hear this. May your mom rest in peace. Pretty sure I got food poisoning last night at dinner, so I spent all night in the bathroom with horrible stomach cramps all day today. Hugs. Don't hug too hard more might come out. My mother's drinking. Same. It also ruins every day. My grandmother berating my sister and I, in front of our whole family, for not calling her on Christmas, while we were facetiming her. My grandma has dementia, the last mother's day, before it got really bad, and she needed to move to a nursing home she down at a heap of vodka. By the time I called he in the afternoon, to wish her happy mother's day she was really annoyed at me because, her gardener had called her first. Props to the gardener though, that guy would have had customers for the rest of their lives. Being on a greyhound bus for 13 ducking hours. I got paged on call engineer as the family was getting ready to eat our Christmas dinner. Later, I microwaved my plate and ate on my own before going back to my laptop. Ruined is a strong word, but I'm bitter about it. Did you get paid like triple time though? Nope. I'm on salary. Sometimes if on call is hectic I get a day off in lieu, but it won't happen this time. Maybe I'm just still too young and experienced to know better. But salary pay seems exploitative. My mom started crying and causing drama because my sisters didn't stay up until midnight on Christmas Eve to celebrate Christmas early. She decided not to show up for breakfast and gift exchanges this morning and instead messaged us all morning saying no one loves her or cares about her. I love being guilt tripped. The only thing it seems you're guilty of is being tired. Or going to sleep when most normal people do lol at least that's what my wife says about being in bed early. I know nothing of the sort. My sister stormed out an hour before the food was ready because she believed we were talking shit about her or threatening her or something. She's schizophrenic. None of that was happening. There's no way to convince her it's not true. My husband is too. But it's not as bad as your sister. It's so scary to think about what is going on in their brain that lead them to their conclusion. I always pester my husband when I can tell there's something he's overthinking. My pestering is better than him convincing himself that what he's thinking is reality. It's very hard to convince him otherwise. Even with proof. We've been in the same house for almost 10 years and he still kinda freaks out a little over noises that happen every day. Like the garage door going up down. The dog itching herself on the hardwood floor in the next room. The dishwasher when it worked etc. Freaks out isn't the best term. Concerned is probably a better word for it. He's not medicated because most of the medications are benzos and he was basically a guinea pig 20 years ago and doesn't want to feel like a zombie. But he's finally got a primary doctor appointment coming up and I'm gently pushing him to get in and see. Doctors and stuff. Best of luck with your sister. You'll be in my thoughts, and I hope you have a better new year. Divorce. First Christmas after divorce here. Can't say I didn't think about her, but I'm happy to be where I'm in life with regards to my personal life. My sister-in-law has been verbally berating her children all day. They're kids. 
It's Christmas. They're supposed to be hyper and excited. Why? What could the kids possibly be doing all day? Reminding her she regrets several of her choices in life, but she's not allowed to say so out loud. My grandma fed my dog who has serious digestion and other health problems 5 Christmas cookies. And he not only shat and vomited all over the house, but had to go to the vet. My dog passed away early Christmas morning. She had been sick for a couple weeks, so I knew it was coming but it still ducking sucks. And she died on Christmas of all days. She was such a nice dog. And now she's gone forever. R.I.P. Daisy. Traveled 2 hours to see sister. Buy her favorite Chinese food for her and her husband. Have presents ready for her and him. I get there. She walks out and is like surprise guess who's here. Daddy. She knows that he and I don't get along because he is abusive and manipulative. So I give her the food and presents and turn around and drive 2 hours back home. Cried most of the way back from being mad and sad. I would have kept the Chinese food. My parents are dead. I'm only 41. But lost my last parent in 2021. My boyfriend doesn't celebrate. Or really care. His grandma. More mama she raised him. Died a couple years back. We are a new place with no friends or family. I don't have kids twice widowed. It complicated. He never had kids either. My only real living relative is my sister. She lives two states away. We couldn't visit due to a covered scare. The present she bought me only present I was getting. Got pilfered by porch pirates. I ordered Chinese food. My order was cancelled 5 minutes before arrival. Huck. Christmas dinner. Don't get me wrong. It was amazing. But I've been on the toilet for 25 minutes now absolute destroying it. And maybe even the wildlife around my house. I need help. The real Christmas magic was inside you all along. My sister's boss told her they were only open until 5. But they're actually open until 10. And she won't let my sister leave surprise 10 hour shift. So now my mom's watching a WWII documentary. And I'm on Reddit lol. Merry Christmas. I was reaching for a puzzle piece when something in my body decided to duck right off. And now I've got immense shoulder neck back pain. I keep trying to stretch it gently move it as much as I can. But I'm pretty out of commission. A damn puzzle piece. I'm not a doctor. But this what helps me ibuprofen and ice. When you're not sleeping for the night. Try to get up every half hour or so. And walk around slowly on a flat surface for about 10 minutes. At least for a day or so. Don't worry about stretching. Try to get a little extra sleep. If you have no improvement by tomorrow. Go to urgent care, if you can afford it. They should be able to tell you, if you need to go to the emergency room see a specialist, and might be able to prescribe you some muscle relaxers. Source threw my back out in a bad way a few months ago, and went directly to urgent care. Nothing really. It was momentarily ruined by my mother-in-law and her victim complex, but we didn't give in. And we left soon after she started making her snarky comments. Girlfriend shaming me for taking a half day off work on Christmas Eve to see my family. Woke up to her making snide comments about how it must be nice to sleep in a bit. Then told me to run home to mommy. This was all unprovoked while I was laying in bed not as bad as a lot of stories here. But it's put a damper on the whole holidays. I hate judging people from single comments only. But how immature does one have to be to see your significant other prioritizing family and find that to be something worth mocking? Like is she an actual child? Because that's not okay. My mom brought up the diary I kept as a teenager years ago. That diary had detailed plans about me offing myself. She brought it up legit an hour ago in front of everyone have spent the last 2 hours in my room crying and feeling all sorts of emotions. I'm 25 now, but damn I feel all the feelings are left at that time and I don't know how to feel. Wow. Why would she do that? That's awful. I'm sorry. Attention whoring. Also making herself feel better about herself. Husband is a recovering alcoholic and last night on Christmas Eve he relapsed following one year sober. I don't want to go through all that heck again. And I made months pregnant with no job and 1000 miles from home. I seriously don't know what to do. I think I'm doomed. I'm so sorry to hear that. But as someone who is also in recovery, 
I will say, as long as he still wants to commit to a life of sobriety. His relapse doesn't mean anything more than a small setback, as long as he didn't do much damage last night. And as someone who has also relapsed, the recovery process gets easier each time. Again this is all assuming he still wishes to be sober. If he's given up though, then I feel for you. You should not have to deal with that, and I'm so sorry. I wish you the best. Being called selfish for having a migraine and ruining the festivities, and then getting socks, underwear, some pillows and random chocolate my mom and sister split the cost of because money was tight, while seeing my sister get JBL Bluetooth headphones, a JBL speaker and a JBL clip-on speaker my mom single-handedly bought her, but most of all, a migraine. Those ruin any day. My baby was still born at the beginning of December. I'm too heartbroken for Christmas cheer. I'm too heartbroken for Christmas cheer. That's perfectly fine. Let the healing process go on its own pace you didn't ruin anything. Got into a fight with my wife. My sister-in-law dying in a car crash. My son passed away in October due to suicide. He was 20. I miss him terribly. I'm so sorry. May his memory be a blessing. My depression. Husband tested positive for COVID. Again. We did this last year. Same week. Not a tradition I want to maintain. It's frustrating and lonely. I have to work. So we are living on two different floors of the house. My mom told us she has cancer. And it's quite bad. My ex. Was married 20 years had one daughter. Have been divorced for 5. Yesterday she asked to come back home. I had to force myself to say no. It was hard and made me sad thinking we could have been together if she hadn't made the decisions she did 5 years ago. Good for you to say no. You're probably better off. But no doubt that was difficult. Been a lot of years ago but I traveled a long way with my fiancé and her two kids. One was calling me daddy because she never knew her father at all. We go to my grandparents and meet my parents and spend two nights. My folks go home and we drive to her parents place. Out of the blue her personality changes and when she isn't biting my head off, she is giving me the silent treatment. After two days of this I corner her and ask what is up and she tells me that she no longer loves me and wants to break up. Next day we drive to 12 hours without a word spoken between us though I tried a few times to get her to talk, get back to her place and get ignored again. I go to a separate room and make reservations back to my parents because I have nowhere to go. I was on leave from the military, spent the rest of my vacation licking my wounds and hating the world. Covid. I can't smell or taste anything so food sucked and I couldn't spend time with my family properly. Having to hang out with my brother all day. I love the guy. But holy duck he never shuts up. Ever. At all. I've got 3 years on him and I'm certain he has flown past me in words spoken in a lifetime. It's exhausting. And whenever I act disinterested or just politely end the conversation. I'm the asshole. A mix of my period deciding it was going to start early with cramps from the 7th level of Hector my mother getting angry that Christmas Eve dinner was ruined because we didn't warm up the food 20 minutes before eating so we could make sure everything was on the table on time. I don't really celebrate it, but this is my first Christmas so alone. I always spent Christmas Day flying out to my grandmother, but she just died. I'm in New York City and on semi-lockdown. Also my half and half for coffee turned prematurely, and I can't get more today I learned TMRW. I wouldn't say ruined, but I decided, just before leaving work for vacation, that 2022 will be the year I kick alcohol to the curb for good. I've been to rehab before, so I know what to expect from detoxing, and I feel confident to do so without supervision. With that said insomnia has traditionally been a big issue for me during my prior attempts to go clean. I'm currently on day 3 without sleep and don't feel it's coming anytime soon. I've been up for dangerous amounts of time before and I've felt so miserable all day today while visiting family. I just hope I get some reprieve before my alcoholic brain convinces me to drink just to finally get some sleep. Other than that, 
I've really counted my blessings and have done some reflection on how I need to take care of myself going forward. My dog puking and pooping all over the carpet early this morning. Not sure what happened to her tummy, but the smell was awful. She's fine now. My grandma asked if I was pregnant because my stomach I guess was sticking out a little. Didn't appreciate that one. My mother-in-law pining over her grandchildren she can't be with. I've had three miscarriages this year. No kids. Four years of IVF. We are talking about quitting and living child free. It has been the hardest Christmas. Family members testing positive after we had already spent time together. I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the news for a lot of people for the next 48 hours. 